In the spring of 1988, I embarked on a long journey documenting the human story of HIV and AIDS. Sydney, Australia, where we shot these images, was the first destination. I met and interviewed a dying AIDS patient for the first time in my life. Today, through sort of circumstances yesterday and today, and through physical symptoms, I thought I was dying. But I can't find the switch to, to switch life off. In 1988, to be diagnosed with HIV was equal to a death sentence. Australia took a lead role in the response to HIV and AIDS. The Gay and Lesbian Sydney Mardi Gras Festival played a key role. With the breakthrough of antiretroviral treatment in the 90s, people with HIV were now able to live a healthy life. This film tells a dramatic story of the journey from AIDS to HIV in Australia and in Cambodia. Today, more and more people even talk about ending HIV. How do you look upon the Australian response to HIV today? I think of it as a, a prevention triumph in some areas, but we still have a rising, increasing rates of HIV diagnoses, and so we just have to keep trying harder. When I was diagnosed, my immediate thought was there was not enough visibility and not, there's not enough visibility within the younger community. I become HIV activist because uh, I really love this work and I, I believe that I can help uh, other people living with HIV, especially for the women living with HIV. And uh, I believe that I am a, a role model for them, even I am young, but I believe that I can help them. I want to see the virtual elimination of, of HIV and I believe we can do that in Australia. I'm absolutely passionate about that. Do you think you can end HIV? Yes, we can end HIV. Still, there is much work to be done in order to end HIV. And my journey, documenting the human story of HIV and AIDS, which started in 1988, continues into the future. Mm -hmm.